Okay, let's go ahead and look at how to prepare your image for your pop art project. So first thing you need to do is figure out what kind of food item Andy Warhol might have painted today. So maybe you're happy with the Mars bar. And you're going to go to Google Images. And I want you to just notice something. As you hover over each image, at the bottom you can see a bunch of numbers. Those numbers are telling you the size quality of the image. So 522 by 155 means 522 pixels by 155 pixels. The higher the number is, the better quality the image is. So you want to make sure you're choosing something that's fairly high quality. So anything about 800 pixels or above. So this one is very high quality. Same with this one, same with this one. This one is not as high quality. It doesn't mean you can't use it, um, but it will be more difficult uh, to transfer if you can't see it as clearly. And when it's not as high quality, when you stretch out the size, um, it becomes quite pixelated and it's harder to see. It's kind of blurry. So let's say the image you like is this one. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to create a Google Drawing Doc. So I'll show you how to do that. You're going to go up to uh, your Google Drive. In Google Drive, you're going to select New more and then Google Drawings. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the image that you want to use and paste it into your Google Drawing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it down because I've got all this white space that I don't really need and that's going to interfere with my ability to see um, the edges of my page when I stretch it out. So now it's about the right size and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out quite large because I want um, this to be quite large on my page. I'm only doing a small section of it. Now if I want to just be able to see a little more clearly what my page is looking like, I can zoom out or go to maybe 50% and I can still see the edge of the page here and I can sort of picture how large my image is going to be. And I don't want it to be perfectly recognizable so I'm going to make it pretty big. Let's say I'm happy with that. Now I need to go ahead and I need to print it to the art room printer. So I'm going to go up to the little print button I'm going to select change and then I'm going to select Danilac art room printer. Then I'm going to select print and you can see this is what my image is going to look like when it prints which is perfect because I'm going to take a four, uh, four by six or sorry four by five and a half ish, inch section of that uh, to transfer for my grid. Uh, so go ahead and print that.